good whatever your time zone is i hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is but enough of the introductions though because what we've got served on this slice of life today is a couple of things going on things going on in america and things also going on in canada one of them being a political thing and the other being a uh, thing about a forest fire that is burning away a national park which, just for some coverage on this, I am not going to make the forest fire that is happening in Jasper into a political debate or anything like that. I, uh, I of course have my political opinion on that, but what is happening just doesn't equate to making this a pol political issue. There are lives at stake, and a national treasure that is currently being eradicated by a massive fire. I, uh, I hope that the people who are living over there, or just in Alberta, I, I hope that the people are staying safe, or are doing things to keep themselves safe in these unprecedented times. I've, uh, I've never been to Alberta before, I stay pretty much just at home, but knowing Canada and the photos I've seen of Jasper, it is truly horrible that we are losing such a magnificent place of heritage, and my heart and prayers go out to everyone who is dealing with that. <laughs> Though, to get into the American situation, if you haven't heard, there are protesters in America. Who could have seen that announcement? But, uh, jokes aside, because what we're seeing in Washington, D.C. is just your average unemployed behavior doing heinous things like burning the American flag, sorry, <laughs> pulling the flag down and then burning it and then replacing the American flag with a Palestinian one. For the stupid people listening, this is a disgusting act of anti-American actions and these mongrels should be deported to Palestine. America doesn't need these people because they're probably jobless and America doesn't want these people because they are evil. These people are no different from the same people who caused 9-11. How, I hear you ask? Well, tell me this. How does one differ the difference between one anti-American act from another? If they are anti-American, then they are just as well anti-Americans. There is no America without Americans. America is not the land, but rather the people. So tell me again, how do you differ anti-American from being anti-Americans? You can't. Anti-Americans should not live in America. They should live where they aren't diametrically opposed to where they live. Here, take a look at these disgusting people. And then, after burning the American flag, signifying their detest for Americans, then they do this. <laughs> Utterly insane actions. And then, shortly after doing that, then they raised their flag. If this shit doesn't make you completely furious, then I have no words that could convince you of such. They make it known that they hate Americans, and then they make it known that they hate American allies, and then raise their flag above a burning American flag. As I have stated, America is not America without Americans. So 
by proxy of them raising their flag above a burning American flag, they are essentially calling for the death of Americans. It is symbolism 101. These mongrels should be deported and the f***ing stupid Americans who joined them should be imprisoned for a very long time so they can learn their stupid reward for being dumb ass. They are actively supporting their own death and they can't see past the blinders of their stupidity. Or they just don't care about their fellow Americans. In which case, then they should also be deported to their Palestinian scum calling for the death of Americans. Here, take a look at these peaceful protesters. People are disgusting and do not belong in America. They are shackled by their home ties to being mass red rum advocates. They do not belong in a land of the free where red rum isn't and shouldn't be advocated for. If liberals weren't so stupid, I would be more inebriated in my anger against these deplorable people. But liberals have for the longest time just been pushing and pushing for more and more of these people to invade. I have no compassion for fools, which are who the liberals are in today's time. It is the liberals who have caused America to be rampant in illegal immigration. It is the liberals who have overrun the places of education with destruction and misery. It is the liberals who are fools and can't use their brain for nothing. But look, a very simple solution to fools being who run America is to vote conservative. Are there fools in the conservative party as well? Yes. But at least we have the brains to call out those fools. Whereas the Liberal Party does nothing but placate their stupidity. So just remember to vote conservative to put an end to this utter foolishness. And so that America can get back on track with becoming the great country that it is again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way, though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.